everybody, it's Static Cool here. Uh, going to make my video about my feeling towards Infinite Warfare and if I'm gonna buy it or not. First of all, I'm going to buy it. I'm really looking forward to the game. Uh, I think it looks pretty fun. Uh, how does it feel? Lots of people uh, are hating on it unnecessarily. So, what I thought, I'm gonna buy it day one, excited to get it day one, and I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna live stream day one. I'm gonna, maybe even from the very install. I'm gonna install it, watch that install go, man. I don't know, play some OSU, play some bots in CS, I don't know, while that thing installs, and then I'll play the game and see how it goes. Now, I've been seeing a lot of big YouTubers are hating, like, hating on uh, Infinite Warfare, and I'm like, hey, I don't completely know why, so I'm just gonna jump into the pub and see how I do while I talk to you guys. So, yeah, like I said, YouTubers are hating. Now, first of all, I believe there's hype trains for games. <laughs> No, and hype trains obviously uh, they free. get games overhyped and shit, and then people can get let down. But at the other end of the spectrum, it's not really you know the other end of the spectrum. But I also believe there's something like a hate train, and people just jump on that thing so easily as well, especially when it comes to Call of Duty. I mean, like <laughs> everybody is hating on Call of Duty, and some of the things they're saying isn't relevant to me or isn't relative. It's it's hypocritical. It's something that's been in every single card and things that people actually love at this stage and now suddenly they hate it? I don't know. People don't know what they want because at the same time they're saying things like I don't, um, we hate the movements and shit like that. Oh but this new movement is clunky or I don't know. For personally I think the new movement they might have made it clunky on purpose because they want to discourage people from using it. That's a small theory I have. But it's not necessarily you know, true or anything, but I thought I'd get people to use it less. And um, just in general, people always, oh, well, not people always, but lots of people are really hating. What the hell is this thing? What the hell is this thing? I've never seen this before. I've been out for a while. I have no idea what this thing does. I really have no idea what that was. But anyway, so uh, lots of people are hating on it, giving it bad reviews or their unpopular opinions apparently, but apparently it's not unpopular. All these hate videos are actually getting a shitload of views, so I'm guessing some people are just view sluts. Once again, falling into like a YouTube trend to get the most views and shit. And I don't know, Driftor for example is quite a big YouTuber and he says he doesn't like the game. And I'm like, hmm. One of the things I saw is the game doesn't sound as easy as all the other cards. It sounds like some of the things, like literally he said, yeah, some things are underpowered. I'm like, that's not a bad thing. And every single specialist or well, payload in this case is weaker than the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 ones. And that's not, <laughs> that's not a bad thing for me. Especially, especially, except the Eraser, that thing that's OP app. Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3. And yeah, I don't know. Still, Call of Duty's hate is over we're done. So I know I've repeated that like a lot now. I just want to stress how much I feel that way. And I hope that people will stop hating the way they And uh, hopefully, hopefully the next game is actually good. Maybe that's the plan. Maybe they want people to underhype it so that the, the expectations are easily met. I don't know, that would be a secret strat. But anyway. So yeah, people are complaining. Oh, specialists, some of them are overpowered, but I don't, I don't, I don't believe that. that. Like for example, the dog. People are like, yeah, look at that dog. I mean, honestly, in my opinion, the Ripper is ten times stronger than that dog. <laughs> the Ripper, it gets massive lunges, also gets one-shot kills, and on top of that, you can still shoot while it's like, actually using the Ripper. You can't do that with the dog. With the dog, you run a bit faster and take the same time to kill. And you get one shot melees. I don't, I don't think the Ripper is at all more overpowered. I don't see how people can be saying that. So, that's my first minute. Then the, you get that shield rush thingy that like generates a shield in front of you and then. generates a shield in front of you and then you like, run into somebody. Now, first of all, from what I've seen again on YouTube, it looks like it only gets one kill and it stops. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I'll have to play to find out. Now what's that? So yeah, that that's not as OP as, for example, Ruin, which just jumps into the sky and instantly kills everybody around him. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's not nearly as 
a well not gay but overpowered as um, ruin. And then the other one I saw was like this gun. It, it might be also slightly strong. It's like it Gatling gun, but like can get a maximum of three kills. By the way, but by the looks of it, I don't know. Ali A might be bad or something. But you can only get three kills with it. Oh, that's a killer bitch. Um, yeah, and it kind of sp sprays in a horizontal pattern. So if somebody runs at a horizontal pattern towards you, you'll get a few kills. But once again, it's it's. Same, it's as, almost the same as uh, the scythe from Black Ops 2, but okay, that's slightly stronger, yeah. Oh, I'll say that. And then the, the strongest one I'd say, which I don't agree with, is the Eraser. It's essentially the Annihilator from Sarif, but semi auto. I mean, like, well, one shot kills and you can shoot quite quickly. That, that's kind of ridiculous, in my opinion, to be honest. In my honest opinion, what is this guy doing? And uh, yeah, so and then the last yeah, that's all. That's all I could see in the beta. So I've, I've watched a bunch of videos, lots of people debunking. Now, once again, there's also console players saying these things. I don't know. Eh? I think we as a Call of Duty PC community need to decide on our own terms if it's good or not. Might not be ported properly. That might be an issue. That's nothing new. Obviously. Hope it. Hopefully, it's ported properly. So don't be bad. Hey, go ladder Get direct, son. Ah, oh, that guy. Really and yeah, so that's my feeling. I'm gonna get the game. I'm gonna stream it first day. I'm really, really excited to get the game. I'm, I'm actually really keen. Uh, I'm excited for remaster. I'll maybe even stream both. What the hell is this guy doing? I'm gonna stream it. I'm excited. I'm going to let you guys know uh, if you should buy it or not. Hopefully, some other people will buy it as well, so I can at least play with people. I'll give you my honest opinion. Absolutely, 100%. I don't know if it's opinion, if I'm enjoying it, are things underpowered, how, how is it optimized at the moment, if it's not optimized on launch, I'll bring out update videos telling you, okay, the game is ready to be played on PC, but, if not, then, uh, if it doesn't get optimized, just don't buy it, that's my plan for you guys, I want to give you guys, I want you guys to waste your money, because you can spend it here, no, I cannot, not today, and, um, yeah, I'm really excited to get the game, and, okay, so, Back to another point. <laughs> I've heard lots of people complain like that the game. That they, honestly, they, it sounds like they're not finding it as easy anymore to play. I'm um, like, that's really not a bad thing. Like, maybe they're actually breaking up the skill gap a bit, still leaving in the rigs to give you that chance to get cheap, easy kills, but still, for the most part, making it more difficult. So the time to kill is pretty very quickly, but it's also still average with most gods. It's slightly lower than um, what's what's it. Black Ops 2, I think, and then it's faster than, slower than Ghost, which yeah, Ghost broke. People didn't like a lot because it was just too damn fast, apparently. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna play a bit now. <laughs> Good old-fashioned Black Ops 3. Well, everybody I know, well not everybody, but most people I know uninstalled it off the DGC. I don't know, I, I like to stop playing the game, I'm gonna let stream a bit, you guys some cool beats. I think I've got a cool beat or two in this game, so I'm very cool. But yeah, really, really excited. Um, drop a li like and a leave a comment there saying what you think about the game. I'm really to see what you guys think about it. Go watch some Ali A's videos and get his input. My input might do well. Ali A is actually also excited about the game. But he's good at the game as well. He's not hating on the game but he's actually good. So I don't know, maybe it's the bad players that just aren't liking the game because they can't get the fees they want, man. Maybe. Maybe the game's just not easy enough for them. Uh, that would be a sad reason to debunk or say the game is bad. Where's this guy? Oh, there you are. You can't hide from me like that. Oh! <laughs> that guy wrecked me in mid-air. Oh, another thing! <laughs> I think that guy's message. Apparently, also people are complaining about quickscoping. I know that quickscoping is too easy. Uh, Jake, it's not that easy. The few kills I saw a guy get was like, it's honestly. Oh, God. 
quickscoping has been a fundamental part of Call of Duty. It's like one of the things people love the most is what they get the most clips with. I mean, I was people hating on it. It's honestly, it feels like they're just hating on everything that is Call of Duty. They wanted boots on the ground, but I don't know. It's so difficult to say with people. They don't know. What they're doing. They really don't know what they want. I, I honestly believe they just want something, and then they're gonna hate it on what, no matter what they get. That's honestly what I feel the mind of the Call of Duty community. And also, one of the biggest problems with the games isn't the actual game. It's the community. The community is kind of shit, but that's like any game nowadays. The community is absolute horseshit. They've ruined the game. So, hopefully, the next Call of Duty will like bring the right people. So people, there won't be as much salty dicks. Let's so No! And yeah, sorry if I didn't talk enough. That's just my feel. I'm really excited. I don't think the game's gonna be as bad as people are making it out to be. I think it has a chance. If not, there's infinite war. Uh, um, the mask is full back here. I know maybe it's back, back to? I don't know how to say that exactly. Sorry. And yeah, I'm really, really excited. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys. I'm looking forward to the live streams. Looking forward to give you guys the feedback. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video, and I'll see you. On the 4th of November, oh, that's my girlfriend's birthday by the way, yeah, she's not going to get a lot of calls on her birthday, I'm just saying, I'm going to be playing, I'm gonna please you guys man, I just love her though, please don't hate me, yeah, <laughs> and yeah, I'll see you guys soon, hopefully very soon, I can't wait for the Infant Warfare, I hope to see you guys there, I hope to see some familiar names, familiar faces, yeah, see you there.